tonight's what's for dinner is going to be a Hawaiian barbecue chicken. I just have some chicken tenders here. No, sorry. <laughs> chicken thighs that have the skin on. I'm going to trim most of that fat off. And I am going to add, this is going to be cooked on a sheet pan and in the oven at 400 for about 35, 40 minutes. I'm just going to add some pineapple, some onion, some sweet peppers to this. And then I am going to top the chicken off with some barbecue sauce. I'm going to mix both of these together just because I have them. So I'm going to use up some of this original Aldi's brand barbecue sauce and then some of this Caribbean jerk from G. Hughes. G. Hughes is my favorite barbecue sauces out there. Um, this wing sauce is delicious, has a little bit of kick, so that's why I was going to mix these two together. And like I said, super easy, simple, going to go on a sheet pan, throw it all in the oven, and it will be done within 35, 40 minutes. Now, if you want to go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Strike in the wind, I'm post now. This video is in collaboration with Megan from Megan's Story here on YouTube. Make sure to go check her out. The link to her channel and her Instagram will be below in my description box. And if you stick around, she's going to say a quick hello and an, inter and an introduction to her channel here soon up on this video. So stay tuned. Megan and my channel is Megan's Story. We love to have so much fun on our channel and we're just a little crazy, just saying. Anyway, but on our channel we have lots of videos on grocery hauls and we love to take you along on our many field trips and sometimes we just love to grab the camera and take you along with us on our many adventures. We also have tons of lifestyle videos as well. I hope that you join us and subscribe today. And thank you Leanne, this was so much fun. So to go alongside the Hawaiian chicken, I am going to be making my coleslaw. This I have dubbed the best coleslaw ever. I have a video on how to make this and with the measurements, so I can list that below and I'll also leave the um, recipe down below too in the description box. So here is the final dish. I made some jasmine rice from Trader Joe's and just put the chicken and the vegetables and the pineapple all over that and a little side of coleslaw. So that is what's for dinner this evening. Tonight's what's for dinner is this pork butt roast that I am going to cook in the slow cooker. I am going to season it with all of these seasonings, which I'll leave the whole uh, recipe down below. 
along with this onion and garlic. And then I'm first going to sear all sides of the pork butt before I place it into the crock pot. It's pretty clear to me. Kind of strange I can take a beat. From my better self is like no one else even breathe. Before searing all the sides of the roast, I made some slits in there so I can add the garlic before I add it to the slow cooker. After your pork is cooked, you are going to remove it and put it in a separate dish so you can strain out the liquid to make the gravy. I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction. I'm looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. So here is the final dish. I made some mashed potatoes to go along with this. It was absolutely delicious, so tender, so flavorful. You really need to try this recipe. And remember to check out Megan's channel. All her information will be linked below. Thank you everyone for watching and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.